and the train was right parked right there in front of me. I'm looking around, I'm looking around. We got into this huge chase and I ended up getting caught. Then I just jumped into the track and wrote my name really quick. And I wrote my name a second time and I jumped back and I was done. It was like the smallest, most horrendous thing you've ever seen, but I was like super proud. From then on, we're just always trying to capture that moment again, you know? It's just like, continue to paint, continue to paint. My name is Nysa, I'm one of the founding members of Tats Crew. I've been painting in New York City since 1980. We started painting in subway trains as teenagers, and I've been painting my whole life. I remember starting out as a graffiti artist with like uh, underground. Hanging out in the train station with my friends watching the trains go by with the graffiti that was painted the night before from other artists was my introduction to like art and culture. There wasn't such a word as street art. We did it for each other's attention. We didn't do it for the mainstream or to become famous. And it's kind of like being an inventor where you know you have a product and you show the world and they didn't know they needed it until the inventor showed it to them. There's different ways to use spray paint and become a graffiti artist. One of the most important things is getting familiar with the materials. The most difficult thing is paint control, learning how to manipulate the aerosol to do what you want it to do. Like nowadays, there's different caps. You have a fat cap, a thin cap, and even thinner cap. Back then, we didn't have a lot of colors. The way things are made now, reds will come in 20 shades. Like a burgundy, it had a brick color, a Spanish brown. There was already two generations before us. The only thing we did was take what already existed and kind of enhanced it. And after a while, I started painting outdoors and people were loving our work. So we um, kind of became young adults. We had to get jobs and become responsible. I would paint after work to like three, four in the morning. Next thing you know, I'm sleeping in the job. It was just something that enjoyed and believed in so much that it was like we were willing to go in blindly. It took us a while to figure out how to make money. We learned to negotiate. We've learned about licensing, copyright. With the introduction of the internet, I think that put the movement in fast forward. It went from just our thing to this global movement. I've done walls now. By the time I get home, there's pictures already posted. It's been on this blog, that blog, that blog. We've gone a long way from painting in subway tunnels and backyards and running through alleys to painting at the Smithsonian. People were saying, don't do it. You know, a graffiti company? Your guys got crazy. Doing graffiti is like doing anything else. The more you do it, the better you get at it. You're gonna make a mess and you're gonna drink, but you know, you gotta keep doing it. It's a wonderful thing that you could do something that you love to do. 